Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Today is Christmas Eve. Okay? Today is the day before Christmas. And all through the house, I have all this gorgeous lettuce. But not even a mouse. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> but welcome back, guys. I'm giving you today's weekly report. It is a beautiful day. I am so excited for tomorrow. Christmas is such a such a wonderful day for everybody to get together, enjoy some amazing food. Um, basically, since I left you guys a week ago, this is what's happened. I mean, it's it's exponentially, of, you know, the plants are doing so well. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the new fan, but this stuff is doing really well. Now, the humidity is up a little bit, though the temperature is down a little bit. It's very interesting of what's really going on. Let's take a closer look on what's actually happening here. Um, a little too much brightness on this. I want to reduce it just to show you guys the two huge awesome heads of lettuce. This is, I mean, literally, I should be eating this right now. I should not be waiting. And this is, this is the weirdest, this is the weirdest situation. I, I can't believe that I was able to get two heads in one, um, growing medium. This is unbelievable. I, I'm kind of confused on trying to unravel the situation here, but it's looking so good. It literally is. I mean, look at this beautiful lettuce. Look how it's, I mean, look at the quality. Look at the, uh, the cleanliness of it. And it's, it feels nice and crispy. If I was to squeeze it, there would be a nice crisp, a beautiful crisp all throughout that. Wow. It is looking so good. And this basil, uh, probably before, probably during, uh, no, no, it's not going to be ready yet. Uh, because I mentioned to you guys multiple times that what I wanted to do was I wanted to uh, I'm going to do a cloning video. I'm going to show you guys how I clone from one single plant and I might be able to get two to three plants. And just so you guys know, if you guys are not aware, the way that we do that is these little guys right here. Let me see if I could do a let me see if I could zoom in real quick on it which for some reason I can't but if you could tell, there you go. You see how there is a pretty thick stem, and if you could tell, okay, there's two there's two leaves on the side here. And there's gonna be two leaves on the side there. So it's basically the way that this plant grows, it grows up, two leaves this way, two leaves that way. Now on these little two side shoots right here, these are the perfect examples of what I would use to clone a brand new plant. So once this actually grows just a little bit longer, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it this week because I think they're, they're just too too small, but these are the sides that I would snip off in a certain in a certain way. I would also dip the uh, the root part in, a, in the Clonex uh, solution, which will help develop better uh, root development. And I will literally just stick it right into the growing medium, feed it some water, uh, you know, for over a week, and just watch it develop. It's actually incredible. So I did it before, and it's, it's pretty fascinating that you could take one plant and then generate multiple plants from that single plant. It's pretty freaking unbelievable. Uh, a little purple basil is not doing too well, uh, and I know why, because, um, you know, unfortunately the way that these tubs go, ouch, um, little guy got clamped. Unfortunately, the way that this, this slopes, and I've mentioned this multiple, multiple times, the way that this slopes doesn't allow a certain amount of water to get in. I really want to look into drip systems. Now, I mean, when you have this type of um, hydroponic setup, a drip system would be overwhelming. It would be too much piping. I mean, it would be too much tubing. It would be a mess. But that's why this guy is too little because it's not getting the nutrients and it's not getting the water. But if you were to feed it through the top, consistently hitting the root right from the top, that would be a whole different ball game and the development will be much better. I mean, look at this plant. Honestly, look at look at this basil plant. It's unbelievable. It's doing so well. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, literally I could just snip these little leaves right now and eat them. Let's let me I mean, look at that root development right there. That huge amount right there. And that's just for that basil leaf, which is freaking awesome. These guys are crazy. This is that pelleted pelleted lettuce that I that I buy sometimes. I'm not a huge fan, honestly. I mean, it grows cool. It's got a beautiful color. It's It looks like it's full of some decent nutrients, but it grows kind of weird. It grows out, and the leaves are kind of weird. I don't know. And these are the uh, butter lettuce that I've had for some time now, 
and I'm consistently eating these because these seem to be one of the 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 seeds that are still doing well from the, a year batch of seeds that I bought like kind of like you know a year ago so I'm waiting for the new year to come about and I'm gonna get all new seeds literally like I'm gonna replenish on every single thing and um, I still have some sugar baby watermelon seeds I'm totally gonna be doing that today's video this Sunday video I'm gonna put online right now on Sunday and now tomorrow Monday I promise you guys I am putting up a video on how I set up this huge tent okay I'm gonna do a an instructional video and I'm just gonna show you guys an observation kind of point of view on how it all constructs how it all looks and how long does it take and also I got something crazy for you guys I have this crazy light that I've had for a while that I've never exposed to you guys for all the time that we've you know I've been posting videos and we've all been watching them together I have not shown you this crazy crazy light setup that I have I've never actually used it it's pretty incredible. I mean, is it the new is it the new light setup? I don't know, but stay tuned for it. Those two video th th that video is probably coming tomorrow, uh, but this one will get posted today because I wanted to get some content and show you guys what's going on since last week, since like six or seven days ago on the on the current development of what's going on right in here. Now back here, I do have some of these purple basils and they're doing all right. They look like they're going to survive and they're going to do fairly fairly well. Let's just look at the uh, the root development down here. Everything seems to be going okay. All three reservoirs will probably need some fresh water today to top them off, as well as their Sunday um, nutrients. Now, honestly, when I come back to these lettuces and I and I look at these green ones, too much light. I apologize. Uh, when I look at these green ones, they just look so beautiful and tasty. And I look at these ones, it, it'll be a nice mix if you could just snip this, snip some of this, and create yourself a nice little salad. But this is also pretty buttery, pretty silky lettuce. I want something more firm. I want something like these, uh, something called Crispino that I've had for a while. But unfortunately, when I did try to germinate the Crispinos just recently, probably, what, like, I don't know, two and a half to three weeks ago, uh, because I think this is this is the run that this has been going on because I mean the germination stage takes about you know three to five days and then you then put them into the you know growing mediums and then it starts to develop a little bit so this has probably been running for like three weeks so it's been it takes a little bit to get this type of cons you know this type amount of lettuce to get moving and get going it's pretty crazy how long it actually takes but uh, I forgot what I was even saying but those purple lettuces, I think that's where I left off. They look good. They're going to survive. Uh, all the reservoirs need water. They need their nutrients. Also, guys, before I finish off, down below, okay, right down below, everybody's been asking for the list. The list is finally done. This is everything that I use to grow and maintain my hydroponic setup. Everything from the tubing, the tubs, seeds, fans, especially the, 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 uh, the pump, um, the tubs, everything that you need, the lights, the uh, this 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 uh, this like setup right here, this like metal rig that I have for the storage containers right here, the tent, nutrients, pH, everything is down below. This is what you need, okay, to maintain this type of grow. You don't need every single thing. Get one of you know, get a little bit and try it out. See if this is something that you want to maintain as a hobby inside your own home, because. You know, when it comes to it, we do sustain our own, you know, food source like this, but it's also a big time hobby. Okay, this is what it is. We want to see seeds develop, you know, we want to nourish them, and we this is this is just a big hobby for us, and it's incredible, but it could also be a lifesaver in certain circumstances, okay? To being able to understand how to grow your own food is very, very important, inside and outside. Okay? Bring it uh, talk about the outside. Down here, if you guys remember on the, on the last video, I had the uh, microgreens. I will be doing a video, and it's actually going to take me like a week to fully do the video because it's a multi-step video on how I grew the microgreens that I grew and what I used because I did use a specific type of soil that I did find, and it worked so well. Um, also, everything from the trays to the seeds, everything I will you know put into a secondary video, and that will be in, you know, that's going to probably take... 
I'm guessing seven to eight days, maybe starting from tomorrow. But uh, again, this video is going up today on Sunday and tomorrow expect a new video. I know everyone's gonna be home. I wanna make sure you guys are watching these videos. I wanna make sure that you guys are subscribing if you're new to the channel. I wanna make sure you guys are sharing these videos. And of course, make sure to click the links down below. This is the master list of everything that you need and what I use to maintain this type of hydroponic grow. Guys, I wanna thank you so much. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a fantastic day today and tomorrow. I wish you all the best. I will be back soon. Have a great day, guys.